Right, we are back. So many of you saw hashtag 182 where I made these glass-like figurines. Now many of you in the comments shouted out that you saw two parents holding a baby. I do see it. I saw it just after filming, but I didn't see it during filming. I just saw a couple of balloons, but yeah. It is absolutely crazy. So many of you also shouted out in the comments that one of the pieces reminded me of something. And I'm pretty sure, I've got lots of you said it, I'm pretty sure it was Astro Boy. I'm still not 100% sure, but I think it was. So in this video, we're gonna play around with a couple of different things with the same technique with my resin in the high viscosity clear shampoo. Reading through a lot of your comments, there's lots of suggestions on things to try. So I'm going to try and cover some of them. One of them was a pearl. So I'm going to try using some mica powder from the Lex Resin 36 mica set. And I'm also going to try colouring my UV. Lex Resin are sending me some coloured UV, but it might take a week or so to get here. So I'm going to try a liquid dye to begin with and just see how I get on with that. And some of you also suggested um, injecting. So I'm going to try using this needle tip bottle and see if we can get some either finer details or try and somehow inject some colour maybe into a clear blob. But if you haven't seen that, hashtag 182, some almost 50,000 people have already seen it. So be sure to check it out. I pin it at the end of this video just down in this corner here and you can go and check that out so as mentioned in here is just a really cheap clear shampoo and it is a high viscosity you might have something even higher which could work better i almost dropped it then so i've got my lamp set up to the side a glass jar would be better with a lid that you can screw on and off some of you said mason jar whatever works for you. So to begin with, I really want to get this Prince Rupert's drop. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it once I've got it, but I just, I really want to recreate a Prince Rupert's drop. And you saw in the previous video where I added the resin and it just didn't give me the tail. So I think I can pr probably do it if I'm quick enough. If I use a needle, I think if I can drag the resin through the shampoo, I can get a tail, I think. I mean, this is just my brain. So if I add my UV resin to the shampoo, grab a needle. I don't wanna start here, I wanna start in the middle because otherwise that's gonna create a dent in the front. Have I got a tail? I have got a tail which is good. I can now cure that as it slowly begins to work its way down into the shampoo. It looks promising already. I can see a tail. It's not very long, but there's a tail there. And like many of you have said, I think there's so many things that we can do with just such a simple idea. If we put our minds to it, I think we can achieve lots using this method. All right, so again, I've just got a clear cup of water here and I'm just going to take that out and then transfer that straight to my little cup of water and then give it a good wash off if it wants to come off. It's almost perfect. It looks like a couple of different things, I must admit. <laughs> but I think it's worked. I could have gone in, I think if I'd have gone in again and dragged it out a bit further, maybe gone in twice. But that is crazy. I don't know, what, what would you do with that? Let me know in the comments. So I just did it again and I went in twice and that is even pointier it's an even pointier tail and that is incredible now this obviously wouldn't explode like a, a glass one would if i was to cut the tail because it is resin it's, it's going to have some movement it's just not going to work in that way so next to try is making a pearl now the thing i'm worried about with this is that 
the UV resin needs to cure the whole way through the piece. Um, with some mica powders, I've found it the mica doesn't really have an issue, or the, the light doesn't have an issue um, penetrating through. So, wish me luck. There are two candidates for this experiment. There is the seashell mica, which I think is the best compared to the the just the white. Be interesting to maybe mix them together but i think i'm going to go with the seashell for this one and as always all the links for everything i'm using along with discount codes are in the description box below i don't want to go too mad with the amount that i'm mixing up just in case it goes wrong and then to that i'm just going to it helps if you shake it first just add some of the seashell mica to my resin and then thoroughly mix that in so you will see there, it's got a really nice pearlescent colour to it. I think this is going to work great if it cures through. <laughs> okay, here it goes. I'm going to drop a few in at the same time. I'm just using the end of a paintbrush. And I will get you a better angle in a moment, because I know you did enjoy watching the resin go down into the shampoo. It's quite mesmerising. I'm just allowing that to just fall off of the end of my paintbrush into the resin. And already they've they've formed a really nice, really nice round ball. So let me adjust. There we go. They actually look like pearls already, which is <laughs> really promising. It's just whether that UV resin, uh, that UV light is going to penetrate through. So I'm going to turn my light on now and try and get a good focus there they go i'm not going to keep this filming the whole time because they are moving really really slow today what i'm going to do though is just move the light around just to make sure that i'm getting it from all angles now some of you did mention putting a mirror the other side it's a good idea but also be very very careful because that uv light is bouncing around inside this um, bottle and it's, it's going to be bouncing in, into your eyes as well. So wear some eye protection. I love the way they just look suspended. <laughs> now, I don't know if you can see that, but this one, a couple of them look like they've got like um, a tail coming off. So I can only presume that's where the resin has got warm in the center and it's kind of found a way out for the, for the heat to escape. Is it something to worry about with the finished piece? I don't think so. Let's try and get one out and just see if that is just what I think it is. Yeah, it's not resin. Well, it's, I don't think it's resin. If it is, it's easily going to come off. Let's get them out and clean them up. And there we have them. Trying to get a good focus on that colour. They're really not showing up, but they do look like pearls in the right light. You can just see the, the, the pearlescence. They're not perfectly, some of them aren't perfectly round, but some natural pearls, well, natural pearls aren't perfectly round. So these would be ideal for prong rings. You can buy the blanks on Amazon. You just pop the pop them in, make sure you, you're making them to the right size, and then you just bend the four prongs over. And they do look like real pearls. Now, I need to know whether the inside is fully cured. They're so fiddly. <laughs> so I just made the tiniest of holes with the smallest bit that I could find. It was a bit fiddly to begin with, but once you break that surface, it's not too bad to drill and there's no um, uncured resin coming out which is absolutely cool so i'm going to try and make a bigger one and there they are and this is a much better way so i can kind of blast it from different angles just by folding my feet in and these have got mirrored um, plates on them so that is also just bouncing around everywhere I've got to try and see if I could get them in a different light inside the water. 
But these are really incredible just in themselves really so with the larger ones this the this round that i've just done i did let them sink to the bottom so they've had around five minutes exposure to the uv light just to make sure they're definitely definitely set hard and again a small hole nothing coming out so some of the larger ones aren't perfectly round but again with like a a prong ring that the tip can be pointing down so that you've got the perfect round area on the top but there you have it pearls done i mean you could even glue these to other projects you could do so much with with just these incredible right what's next we've got color uv and then we've got we're going to play around with some injecting so with the colouring, it's really important. These are translucent liquid dyes. These aren't specifically for UV resin. They're labelled as but I've had these for ages. But they do work for me if, if I don't add too much. And I'll be here forever if I choose, if I decide to go for all of the colours. I'm just going to pick a blue. I'm sorry if I've upset you. It's tough. <laughs> So to my cup of UV resin, I'm just going to add a couple of drops, three drops to begin with, mix that in and just see what it's like. And there we have it. Lots of bubbles because, silly me, I'm in a hurry and I'm not being patient and I've stirred in some bubbles. So I'm just going to cover that for five or so minutes just to let that degas. And it has to be something solid so that any light coming in through any windows can't cure that as it's degassing. Okay, I've still got some really tiny micro bubbles in there, but we are still experimenting. I can get away with it. <laughs> and I'm going to try drops to begin with, just to see how they come out. So I don't want to go pouring everything in there at the same time, just in case it goes wrong. And then just, I'm going to move this out of the way because I don't want the light to cure what's in the pot i absolutely love this part some of you mentioned lava lamp and it is it's very similar to a lava lamp and there we go this one is pretty much perfectly round and i love the way the light catches it and it's just a blue liquid dye is it a sapphire looks like a, a just a round sapphire that is incredible and again, prong earrings or prong rings would be great for these. So now we know that works, I'm going to try another one of these figurines, but it's going to be a bit more difficult pouring from my cup this time, instead of pouring from the bottle. And I can already see it's, it's quite drizzly compared to before, so I'm not going to get the same results. But either way, we're going to try turn on my lamp and just see what we get now whilst it may look interesting it's not what I want it almost looks like a, a sweet or candy as many of you call it and give that a wash off but you can see it's still got that really cool glass like effect so I'm not gonna give up I'm gonna try again and I'm going to top this up just so I'm closer to the surface and the resin's not falling with, without, you know, good control. I'm going to try and pinch the cup a bit better or a bit more this time. Just try and get a similar kind of flow rate. That's better to my UV bottle that I used before. This is why resin can be great, but it can be a pain because sometimes when you try to recreate something, it just doesn't want to work. Let's spiral in the middle and then finish it off. Fingers crossed, guys. And whilst it's cool, I still haven't got that... The, the, the <laughs> The people effect, and I've just realized why. Because I wasn't going slow enough when I was pouring it. 
You really do. I should watch my own videos, really. <laughs> you really do have to be slow and steady. So by the time I get back to where I started, it shouldn't really be touching that first part of the pore. Slow down, I'm just, my hand, my brain is telling me to rush and my hand is kind of going a bit faster than what I want it to. And get it to go slow and steady. And now I turn on my light. We'll finish off. In the middle, hopefully, we'll get some people. So, fair time lucky. Perseverance, I think. <laughs> is the key. I can see a head and some arms. I mean there's not as many people as I'd hoped. I love that little bit at the bottom. But you can kind of see something that resembles a person with some arms coming down, maybe a neck. I don't know, it's weird. But it's a cool weird. I love it. And it stands had another go this one's a bit weird <laughs> but again art can be weird now next comes the one I'm really not sure how it's gonna go and that is trying to inject some color into a blob of clear resin I don't think this is gonna work so as I already have some of that blue mixed up I'm just gonna pour that into my needle tip bottle so I'm not wasting that. And now that's in, I'm going to keep that upside down for a couple of minutes. Just so that all the resin is ready to go. Okay, so to protect my UV resin in the bottle, old finger from an old glove just to stop the resin being cured inside. And I'm just going to get any air out from the needle tip. Now, if this works, I'm going to be absolutely mind blown so what I'm thinking is apply I'm dropping everything a decent sized blob of clear resin and then very quickly taking my needle tip bottle and inserting that into the clear this could work and then cure it I think I made a bit of a mess by pulling it out Okay, I'm going to try another one that's had about 10 seconds under the light. I think I'm rushing. Inject the colour. And then quickly pull it out. I think I've formed a blue tail though. Right, I'm going to try it a different way using one of the blue beads that I've already made. I'm wondering if I can drop that on top and then push that inside the one that I've just poured. It's created like a, a ring. It's not really worked its way into that blob. But I think that could still be interesting. So this is one of the ones that I've injected. It has a tail. And it has it has worked. It's got the clear outer edge. Alright, it's not formed the perfect blue blob in the middle but that is still really interesting and this was the other one that I injected I think this was the first one because I remember the bubbles whoops at the top still really glass like effects and this one kind of looks like an apple and you've got that blue ball inside I think some of the shampoo has gone inside with the ball. 
got like a dimple at the top. Still really interesting. Okay, I'm gonna play around with this a few more times off camera. If I if I kind of get a perfect one, I'll say how I did it. So I think that's as good as I'm gonna be able to get it. And that was multitasking. <laughs> Pouring the clear whilst with my left hand kind of injecting the blue at the same time really really difficult to see maybe a mica powder would be better who knows that's better you can kind of see it from that angle okay so you can see i've made a couple of bits up since i i've filmed the last part i ordered some hardware in as always give the video a thumbs up drop me a comment if you haven't subbed hit that button for me now i ordered some of these bales they come in two sizes, but I ordered the wrong ones. I should have ordered the screwing ones for a much better hold. These are just straight prongs. I don't really trust them, but I've done some anyway as an example. And this pendant is absolutely stunning. And that's on a silver chain. It's not the perfect round opal. So the difference with this drop was that I had my light on as I was dropping the, the pearl um, resin into the, the shampoo. So it created a, a almost like a flat top, like a mushroom head, like this. So I've got a flat area there to work with. So just play around and you'll get some different, I did make some really big ones. And these are, again, they're solid the whole way through. But look at that color really are like pearls so i've got some prong earrings these come in three different sizes i've used those and i've just glued those in with some uv resin they're not brilliant but i don't normally make stuff like this <laughs> this was a really small one you could add that to earrings again you can use these to just decorate other things and then I did buy some of the prong rings this is why I had to make some bigger blobs because I didn't <laughs> I didn't measure the um, the ring sizes properly for I was hoping they were going to be smaller so I could fit the smaller bells in but it just as an example I mean it's a bit in your face but it's uh, it's a cool looking ring so I, I used one of the kind of mushroom top ones with the flat back, put that in, squeezed the prongs really tight, but then I did have to apply some UV on the underside just to give it a bit more strength so I know that's not easily going to fall out of that ring blank. I'm trying to get a really good colour for you, but it's just not showing on camera. I'll pop some uh, photos on my Facebook page and you'll probably see them in the groups anyway. Right, let me know what you want to see next with this effect. But I think for me, these pearls are absolutely incredible. I have made so many of them now. Lots of different sizes, lots of different shapes. Have a little play. Right, I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.